my dear people of Southern Cameroons, today is uh, Friday, this late evening, Friday the 13th of uh, November, in the year 2020. I'm doing this very short and uh, important recording very late to draw our attention to something that's about to take place uh, in uh, Bermenda, that's in the Southern Cameroons on the territory the morning of the 14th of November, the Saturday. Uh, it has to do with a visit by the Cameroon, neighboring Republic of Cameroon's Minister of Youth Affairs. His name is Monona Futsu. He will be coming to Bermenda this Saturday, the 14th, and uh, the purpose of his visit is to come and distribute money and share money to young people within the framework of a project they call in his ministry, Page U, that that project seeks to assist youths in the various parts of the country with financial resources to empower them so they can begin businesses in various fields, in various areas. And so the amounts that are going to be dished out this Saturday range from 4 million, 6 million, that's some of 7 million, some may even have as much as 10 million CFA francs. But now what is the issue with this uh, visit? The issue here is, as always, these government officials from neighboring La Republic du Cameroon use the Southern Cameroons as a smoke screen where they come and, uh, you know, take the opportunity to steal from the, government's co from, the, from the government coffers using our people as the pawn. This is the information I gathered that that minister is getting to Bermenda to share money out to young people, but 90% of the young people whose names are on the list to receive this money are not, I mean, are not from the Southern Cameroons. I say 90% of them are not from the Southern Cameroons. Some of those mayors in the city of Bermenda, I mean, you know that uh, these mayors will continue to call them illegitimate, will continue to call them imposters because our people did not take part at the elections on February 9 that ushered them in. But the truth is, even these ones who are colonial pawns have indicated clearly that they are likely to boycott the ceremony of the Saturday morning because 90% of those on that list are not from the region. They are not from the Southern Cameroons. They are not people of Southern Cameroons' extractions. Most of them are not resident. I mean, 90% of them, as I say, are not resident in Bermenda or any part of the Northern Zone. None of them. A lot of those guys are resident in Douala, in Buda, in Yaoundé, and they're just traveling into Bermenda alongside the minister to come cash this money. Don't ask me what is going to happen next. Because since by right, they don't deserve to earn this money because they are not from the area and they are just being their names are just fitted in and all of those things. They are going to pick up this money and then go behind there and arrange and you know just get percentages out of them and return the money back to the minister and his cohorts. That is a practice they have been doing for a very long time and using our people of the Southern Cameroons as the pawn. So I'm indicating that we all know there is one there, for example, who's based in Buddha who presented a project to rare pigs and he'll be receiving 7.8 million CFA francs that is in Bermenda this Saturday morning and he will be saying that the money is meant to you know improve <laughs> the economy of Bermenda or the economy of the northern zone but as soon as he picks this money in the next car he'll be on his way back to Buda he's not alone there are many of them like that on that list and the mayors who are all imposters in the first place are even protesting, which is strange, which is a clear indication that it gets to a point where the injustice reaches levels. The same people who are supposed to be facilitating it say, no, but this is becoming extremely wicked. I'm drawing the attention of our people so that they would denounce this fraud very clearly and let the rest of the world know 
that the government of La Republic of Cameroon is not putting any resources in the hands of our people because that is what they want, to, that uh, they are seeking to let the world know they're spending money on our people and all of those things because as they claim we are part of their country. No, this is not true. So I'm drawing the attention of the people in Bermenda, the city of Bermenda, and all of those who have been invited to that ceremony in the morning, Saturday, November 14, to know that that whole occasion, that whole ceremony is a fraud. It's an occasion meant to, you know, use the names of our people, use our regions, or should I say use our country, the southern Cameroons, to give the impression to, to whoever that they are spending money on our people, that they are paying attention to our youth, and that they are paying attention to a people that they have spent all their time seeking to destroy. So my dear people of the Southern Cameroons, you now have the information, use it as best you can, and we make sure we continue to denounce these fraudulent attempts by the Republic of Cameroon to involve us in money that they are taking us as, uh, you know, loans from around the world with very heavy interests because they know that uh, when it will get to the time for negotiations, we also have to sit down and, and discuss uh, the external debt. These are things that they are doing just to give the impression tomorrow that we actually have to acknowledge this debt and be involved in, you know, settling it. I'd like our people to take note of this and take note of it seriously. I've given you the information. Do what you can with it. And then for the youth, for our young people, you are all seeing what is happening in the DDR centers. Of course, what happened in Boya, <laughs> I mean, I'm not inventing it. You heard Kawa Kawa Yannick and all the, the others in total wailing. The government of Republic of Cameroon never keeps to any engagement. They never keep to any promise. Take their word at your own risk. That is why I keep urging our people by day and by night that our destiny, our future is in our hands. Let us continue to do what is right. Let us work towards ensuring that we get total freedom. On, I mean, total and untainted freedom. There is no measure that will stop until we get the full freedom that we deserve. What was denied us in 1961 has to be given to us in full, I mean, in full measure. Any half thing that still links us with the Republic of Cameroon in one way or the other will only be a recipe for disaster because they never keep to any agreement. So don't think that is the new agreement that they may come to tomorrow or promise you tomorrow that they will keep it. They will never. We have seen Nambere already, I mean, dragged in the mud. This is Kawa Kawa Yannick and all of those in the DD are complaining left and right and all of those things. That tells you that uh, the salvation of the Southern Cameroons rests in our success in prosecuting this struggle for total freedom and total independence. To God and God alone, the other glory.